Now in New Jersey. Powered by Tap Into. Brought to you by Lakeland Bank. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday, February 8th. I'm Christina Baer. A wife's intuition helps lead to a new law protecting firefighters. After Sarah Seabolt's firefighter husband, Glenn, was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer, she took action to make sure no other family would experience what they have. Tap into Hamilton Robbinsville publisher Elizabeth Myers has been following the story and Glenn's recovery. Apparently what happened was it was a little over a year ago and he had sort of um, like a bulge or an abscess and, and she describes it in between the, the strings of your mask. And he was having a really tough time getting his a good fit on his respirator for the fire department. This form of cancer, it stands for MALTS, is like a 1% of a 1% type of cancer. Wow. It is it is very rare form of uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Mm -hmm. It could be something he sort of has to keep an eye on forever because of the rarity of it. Right. Um, and because cancer is one of the leading, leading causes of death with firefighters. Um, what was sort of shocking when I talked to Sarah was her husband was saying when he'd go to the firehouse and say, I've been diagnosed, I have this. Some of the other firemen would say, oh, that was the easier kind of cancer for me to beat. That was two, three different forms of cancer some of these guys had been had fought or were fighting. Um, and that's a, just a shocking, that's not an acceptable job risk. There was this very federal, national, state push for the Thomas Canzanella Act, mm -hmm. you know, for a lot of the firefighters, particularly post 9 11, to get benefits and treatment for the cancer that they sadly contracted. This is almost like a prequel and says, hey, we want to make sure we're going to catch it early. Mm -hmm. Probably any oncologist would tell you when you catch a cancer matters in right. your in your treatment. So this would say, we're going to make sure I think it's, you know, every three years or what have you, you can get a scan or any type of test. She worked a lot with a uh, professional firefighters union, PFANJ, um, and with uh, the volunteer, the FMBA, <laughs> you know, there's a couple different IAFFs, different firefighters union. And, and by Trenton legislative standards, this moved pretty, pretty quickly. Knowing the family and knowing, you know, he's a, a little league coach his daughters are very active and and he says like as soon as he can he's going to be out there coaching and he wants to be back in that firehouse and the family will save you we are in our process and we have health care but i want to make sure nobody else has to face what we are facing people didn't really know they were going through this and getting this law fixed for other people it's a really it's a really heartwarming story for more on the story check out tap into hamilton robbinsville some new jersey school districts say their mask mandate will continue after march 7th Governor Phil Murphy made the decision to end the school mask mandate, but is also leaving it up to local district administrators if they want it to continue. Tap into Newark reports Newark Public Schools will keep the mask mandate going. Tap into Stafford LDI says Stafford Public Schools will make masks optional after March 7th. Duke Farms in Hillsboro will soon see some baby bald eagles. According to Tap into Hillsboro, bald eagles have returned to the nest at the farm for almost a decade. The predators have achieved rock star status in classrooms and homes across the state and country thanks to video cameras that have been installed overhead with live feeds available online. The first egg is expected to hatch February 26th. When we come back, an out of the ordinary 911 call leads to a special delivery. We are a small business, we are a childcare provider, and having Lakeland Bank be a partner who understood our challenges, I believe was the key to us being able to get the PPP loan. We were struggling to make payroll numbers. I had my loan processed through the drive through window. The funds hit my account at 4 p.m. and we were able to process our payroll at 5 p.m. that Friday. I think that was a great success story for us and for Lakeland Bank. Welcome back. An unusual 911 call for Sayreville police officers. Four-year-old Justice Tucker was upset that his toy police car had broken and called emergency services accidentally while his mom was working. It's happened to Raritan Bay reports that the officers were more than happy to help out and took it upon themselves to get him a new toy police car for his birthday. The police chief praised them for their kindness and going above and beyond the call of duty. To receive your local news from Tap Into in your inbox every day for free, sign up at tapintonet slash enews. 
Thanks for joining us. This has been Now in New Jersey, powered by Tap Into, sponsored by Lakeland Bank.